right, now we are in this game between the University of Washington and the University of Oregon. University of Washington in the dark caps, University of Oregon in the white. This is the third place game. Should be an exciting one. There we go, University of Washington get, gets things started for us here early in the first quarter. They put the first one on the board. University of Washington takes off on the fast break. He'll be about a body length ahead of anybody else. But that is a nice, almost a nice steal from the goalie. He pushes it under the water. That's a ball under by the goalie, and that's a five-meter penalty shot. University of Washington with a good scoring opportunity to hope to pull ahead by two points. Fires and finds the back of the net. University of Washington two. Ordinary foul called up top. That's going to be an exclusion called against University of Washington. The University of Oregon will be a man up for 20 seconds. There's a shot, hits the corner, post, no goal. The University of Oregon able to pick it back up and have another opportunity. There's a shot, knocked down by the goalie. Oregon picks it up again. Gets an ordinary foul. Another ordinary foul. There's a shot tipped away by the goalie. Two meter throw in for Univer University of Oregon. University of Washington now on the attack. Balls in middle for Washington. And that's stripped away by the University of Oregon. Six on five opportunity here for the University of Washington. They put the ball right into middle. 
Help comes back to shut that play down, and it's back to the University of Oregon. That ball stopped by the University of Washington's goalie. Washington now on the attack. We're going to get a referee timeout. Not quite sure what's happening on the fee on on the pool deck. Excuse me. Oh, uh, it's a 30 second timeout looks like. Maybe they're getting some caps situated. Here we go. University of Oregon has the ball. And that quickly goes into an offensive foul. Back to University of Washington. Two minutes left to go in the first quarter. We are currently at two to zero. Oregon now with the ball on the fast break. He's got inside water. Backstroking. Can he find it? He is able to. It slips right past the goalie and that's a goal. Two to one is now our score. Oregon cutting down the lead. Ordinary foul called for Oregon. That pass goes astray. Another ordinary foul for Oregon. Lots of movement from Oregon. There's the shot and he finds it. He finds the back of the net. Oregon ties things up for us with one minute and about nine seconds left to go in the first quarter. Fifty seven seconds left to go. We have a six on five opportunity here for University of Washington.
There's a shot knocked away by the goalie. Great stop. That's a brand new shot clock for Washington, though. And Washington's able to put that one in for a goal. They pull ahead with 31 seconds left to go. In the quarter. That gives just enough time for University of Oregon to get a possession. Shot in a goal. University of Oregon answers. Tying it back up. Nine seconds on the clock for the first quarter. That does it for the first quarter. We are tied 3-3 three to three here in the third place game. We're going to take a commercial break, but stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back. You're tuned in to the CWPA TV network. You're watching the Northwest Division Championship stream. This is the third place game featuring University of Oregon in the white caps and the University of Washington in the dark caps. We're tied 3-3 three to three here starting the second quarter. Stand by for the sprint. University of Washington wins the sprint. They'll have the first possession of this quarter. Shot clock winds down to zero. University of Oregon will now have the opportunity to score. The ball gets stripped away by the University of Washington. That shot sells wide left, excuse me, wide right, no goal. University of Washington now on the attack.
Timeout called by the University of Oregon. Full timeout. We'll take this opportunity to hear a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Welcome back. You're tuned in to the CWPA TV network. This is a free championship tournament hosted by the University of Washington. We're in the second quarter, all tied up. Three to three with four minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the quarter. University of Oregon just called a timeout. We'll see what they come up with. We're in a six on five here. Nice passes along the perimeter. Looking for the open man. Making the defense move. There's the shot and there's the goal. Nice bar in by the University of Oregon. They pull ahead for the first time in this game. It's now four to three. He's got inside water. Hits the post, and it finds its way in. University of Washington tying things back up, putting us at four to four. Great stop there by the shot block from University of Washington. Oregon will have it again. There's a shot and a goal. University of Oregon ahead again just by one with three minutes and six seconds left to go in the second quarter. Balls up top for University of Washington. They put it into middle. Help comes back and strips that one away. Back to University of Oregon. University of Washington taking that one away. About mid pool, that pass goes too far. Goalie pops out, but he's able to clean that one up. University of Washington tying things back up. It's going to be a close one till the very end. Two minutes, 27 seconds left to go in the quarter.
There's a great shot from the outside. University of Oregon answering again with the goal. Looks like we've got a call. Nope, no call. It is a goal. U of O now up by one. What a goal. University of Washington answering. This is a back and forth game. One minute, 43 seconds left to go in the quarter. Who's going to take this quarter? No luck on that one, except when the ref calls an ordinary foul for University of Oregon. They're going to have another chance. Looks like we've got a double exclusion, one white and one dark. They're getting a little too rough there in center. So it's going to be five on five for 20 seconds. They dump the ball into the corner as the shot clock winds down to zero. One minute, eight seconds left to go in the quarter. They put the ball into middle. And it's stripped away. But picked back up by University of Washington. Ordinary foul called. Timeout called. About 35 seconds left to go in the quarter. Timeout, a 30 second timeout called. To get set up on this six on five opportunity, a great scoring opportunity for the University of Oregon. They've got pretty much the rest of the quarter to score can they do it University of Oregon able to put that one in, putting us at 7-6. to six. Still 21 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Plenty of time for University of Washington to score.
That does it for the first half of gameplay. University of Oregon up by one with a score of 7-6. to six. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after halftime. We're going to hear a word from our sponsors. We'll be back with more water polo action right after this. Welcome back. You're tuned in to the CWPA Network. Right now you're watching the Northwest Division Championship Tournament. We're in the third place game between the University of Washington and the University of Oregon. University of Oregon in the dark caps, excuse me, in the white caps. University of Washington in the dark caps. We switched sides. Jump ball called. Excuse me, that, they're going to give it to University of Washington. They win the sprint. They'll have the first possession of this quarter. Timeout called. Looks like it's a 30 second timeout called by U of Washington. It'll be a six on five. University of Washington will be a man up for 20 seconds. They don't connect on that attempt. Back to the University of Oregon. There's a shot and a goal. One more for the University of Oregon. They pull ahead, bringing us to a two-goal game.
Great stop there by the University of Oregon's goalie. He's able to keep that one out. Now they're on the attack. There's a shot and a goal. University of Oregon now ahead by three. Can Washington answer? Three minutes, 32 seconds left to go in the second, excuse me, the third quarter. Five seconds left to go on the shot clock. They get the shot off, but it's knocked down by the goalie from the University of Washington. Ball's put into middle. A nice turn to the inside. An ordinary foul called. Looks like he's outside. He's going to take the shot. That's going to be no goal. University of Oregon ball. Back to shut that play down. Great defense there by the University of Oregon. Two minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the quarter. Shot clock winds down to zero. University of Washington ball.
Nice cleanup there by the University of Washington. They cut down the lead just by one, making it a two-goal game. With four seconds left to go in the quarter, University of Oregon might be able to get one shot off. We will see. They do. Shot comes and it is good. University of Oregon put one more on the board before the end of the quarter. Coming up next, we have the fourth quarter. It should be an exciting one. Stay tuned. We're getting our word from our sponsors, but we will be back. Hi, I'm Wolf Wagon with Cap 7. There's one more quarter to go in this game. Fourth quarter coming up now. Welcome back. You're tuned in to the CWPA Network. We're watching the University of Oregon take on the University of Washington. We're in the fourth quarter. Just underway here on the sprint. We've got 10 to 7. University of Oregon on top. Still doable for University of Washington. It could be anybody's game. Looks like they're talking to each of the captains maybe there's a lot of uh, dirty plays and aggressiveness going on in the pool we we had a double exclusion already in this game this is for third place in the northwest division so there is a lot at stake University of Washington wins the sprint of the first possession of this quarter. They don't get anything with it though. University of Oregon ball. There's a shot and a goal. University of Oregon doing a great job here in this game. They pull ahead making it 11-7.
No luck there on the lob shot. Back to University of Washington. They've got two on one. He's got inside water. Fires and puts it away for a goal. University of Washington brings it to a three goal game. Six on five opportunity here for the University of Oregon. There's a shot and there's a goal. Oregon keeping a firm grip on this game. We're now 12 to eight with four minutes, 37 seconds left to go in the game. Cap7 is a small company that started out out of the back of our garages and we were doing clinics and uh, camps around the country. I, we pride ourselves as a company uh, with Cap7 and Turbo to, uh, to sponsor as much and, and give back to the sport as much as we can. Last year we gave over $250,000 back to the sport and all our products are built by water polo players and for water polo players. Welcome back. We're tuned in to the CWPA Network. University of Oregon has taken on the University of Washington. We're coming in out of the timeout. Oregon on top by 12 points. University of Washington with 8. University of Washington called the timeout. It's a 6 on 5 here for them. They'll be a man up for 20 seconds. Heavy defense here by University of Oregon. They strip the ball away and they're off on the counterattack. That's turned back over to University of Washington.
Offensive foul called. Three minutes left on the clock. University of Washington really needs to start putting points up on the board if they want to take this win. There's a shot knocked away by the goalie. Excuse me, not knocked away. It sailed wide right on the shot. No goal. Back to U of O. Great save. Excuse me, that was not a save. Ball's turned back over to the University of Washington. Looks like it went out of bounds. Wide open. Goalie is able to keep that one out. University of Washington picks it up, but it's stripped away by the University of Oregon. Another timeout called. One minute, 54 seconds left to go in the game. University of Washington trailing by four. They need every possession to translate into a goal. Or the University of Oregon will take third place in the Northwest Division. Looks like University of Washington wants to send one defender over to offense and that's going to leave a hole and the University of Oregon gets a goal. University of Washington puts one in. They answer with another goal. One minute, 26 seconds left to go. Four goal game. Ball goes down to the wing. Wing puts it in. There's an offensive foul. Back to University of Washington. They've got inside water, fires, but it's knocked away by the goalie. 
Sails out of bounds, so it's going to be a two-meter throw-in for the University of Washington. He's got inside water and finds the back of the net. Just like that, it's a three-goal game. Timeout called by the University of Oregon. We're going to take this opportunity to hear a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. We'll be back. You know, we've had a lot of requests for uh, pink caps for cancer awareness. Um, and this is a great way to show your support. Um, all of us in some way or another have been touched by uh, cancer. And for every team that purchases a set of pink caps, we're going to make a donation directly for cancer research. Welcome back. We're coming in out of the timeout called by U of O. We'll see what they come up with. They want to waste as much time as they possibly can. There's only about two possessions left. So if there's any way University of Washington can split that into three plays can get all of them in for a goal. That's a tie game. Exactly what University of Washington wants. But that's going to go back around to U of O. Twenty four seconds. Time out called. We're going to hear another word from our sponsor. Stay tuned. We're back. Thirty second timeout called by University of Washington just to get set up. Can they put one more on the board? Ball's in middle. Find separation and he gets it to the back of the net. University of Washington down by two with 15 seconds left. I have never seen anyone come back but can it be today? U of O dishes it back to the goalie. Doesn't look good. And that does it for our third place game here in the Northwest Division. University of Oregon on in third place. Congratulations to the University of Washington taking fourth. Coming up next at 11.30, Oregon State takes on Boise State. Stay tuned for that. My name's Ben Baldridge. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.